video shows the discrete Fourier transform spreadsheet in action. And the way it works is you can uh, input six different sine waves with different frequencies and different amplitudes and different phase shifts. And this graph is a graph of the six input waves. You can see there's sine two. I think the largest amplitude is sine one. And the next one would be sine three. The next one is sine four. And it might be a little hard to get down there. There's sine six. And uh, so when you, if you add all these up, you get this composite curve, which is column O, okay? And uh, now the whole purpose of the discrete Fourier transform is to take this composite curve and calculate, back calculate, without knowing these sine waves, what those waves are. And... Uh, this is the result of the discrete Fourier transform calculation. And so here's the waves added up. And here is the plot. And you can compare these two columns. They're just about alike. 41.271, 41.271. Different out to about in the fourth or fifth decimal place. It's very powerful to be able to back the sine waves out. And uh, a lot of you have noticed that uh, stock prices seem cyclical, to be in cycles. And uh, so this could be a tool used to uh, back uh, the sine waves out of a stock wave or stock price curve. All right, I think that's enough for this video. And uh, if you like it, uh, you can purchase it for just a small fee.